Leave all your favorite emojis in the comments if you're ready. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my music is now available on, you know, Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, the other ones, you know. So make sure you buy, stream, and download today because it does indeed slap. Song of the day is, not me trying to think of songs, like I got a lot, elegant. We are elegant today. Stream Elegant by Ali Fitz. Easy homework, right? But now that self promo is out of the way. Oh wait, one more promo. Sorry, but Instagram just updated this thing where you could subscribe to my Instagram and I'm able to start group chats with y'all. Like it's dope. I started one yesterday, we was talking about the live stream I did on TikTok. It was really fun. So um, it's only 99 cents to subscribe too. I made it the cheapest it could go. But yeah, now that the self promo is out of the way, let's jump back into episode because I saw y'all was commenting like, Ali, it's been so many days. We need back to back episode. And I was like, um, I'm, I be busy and I be sleep too. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump into episode and see what's going on. Chapter 18, Tolerance Zero. What? A few days later. So for the bar opening, it's your usual influencer work. Posing for pictures, posting on your feed and story, that sort of thing. You and Zero should emphasize how it's the perfect bar for your romantic couple's night out. About that. How the hell am I supposed to tell her that I don't want him to go? I can't just say I've been feeling weird things about him and now it's super awkward. I was really hoping I'd have at least this weekend to stay away from him and stop feeling this way. But what do I do now? Um, I'm not sure Zero should come or Zero's been feeling a bit under the weather this week. I lied. Zero's been feeling a bit under the weather this week. Maybe it'd be better if I went on my own so he could rest. If he's really not feeling well, then I totally understand. But if he gets better by tomorrow, you should take him with you. Look, the bar owner has a lot of friends who are also in the business. If you do well tomorrow, this could bring plenty of new opportunities for you. You know how important networking is for influencers. It really is, and I don't be doing nothing, but I need to, oops. <laughs> Let me go out to some parties. But he really wants both you and Zero there. You can go alone, of course, but I don't think he'll be very happy. Uh-oh, damn it, she's right. This is a big opportunity. And I can't just let it go because of one awkward moment that maybe wasn't even a big deal. I'll just face this head on. I'm sure I can go back to the normal friendship I have with Zero. If anything, I'll at least put on a convincing act. Okay, we'll both go then. Great! Just remember, be on your best behavior. We don't need a repeat of the club table incident, so don't drink much. I've been to enough of those events to know not to get out of control when I'm working. I'll just have a few drinks and call it a night. I don't have to worry about Zero either, right? Oh no, Zero barely drinks at all. Whenever we go out, he has like two drinks at most. Don't worry, he'll be fine. Okay, then you two have fun. Now I need to convince Zero. I just hope he won't need much convincing to do this. He will, he don't like parties. Hey, dot, dot, dot. She lives. I thought you forgot about me, Foxy. I don't talk to you in two days and you already miss me. Someone's clingy. Oh, ouch, you're so mean. Listen, I have something to ask. Oh, I'm listening. There's a bar opening I'm supposed to go to and they want you there too. Zero reacted to your message with the crying face. <laughs> I told you. Not where I thought this was going, but okay. You know I don't like this kind of stuff. I told you. I know, but please. Sorry, you're on your own for this one. Oh, take your chair with you and don't drink too much, okay? I don't get drunk every time I go out, okay? Or, oh, you're worried about me. <laughs> oh, you're worried about me. No, I'm not. Part two. What are you, five? Shut up. For real though, I really need you to come with me. This could help my career a lot. Besides, there's free food and drinks all night for us. And they're paying you a rate too. Wait, I get free shit and they're paying me? Me. For what? Going there? Clown emoji. Yeah, you're gonna be promoting them so you get paid. Holy shit. Why didn't you say that before? Yeah, I mean, Vienna, I would have led with that. I would have led with that. I love anything that's free. If it's free, it's for me. Fine, I'm in. We can share a car, I'll pick you up at 8 p.m. 
I knew free stuff would get you interested. Hell yeah. Your boy is eating good tonight. Ew. I'm pretty sure that's not what that means. Such a dirty mind, Foxy. I'm too innocent for this conversation. Bye. You're an idiot. That's what you are. Okay, he's in. Now, I just gotta get myself together until tomorrow. You got it. Choose your outfit for the bar opening. Let's see. Wow, that is so cute. That is so cute. That's cute too. And that's cute too. I feel like I wanna wear this one. That one has really got my attention. Boom, look at her. Looking good. Vienna, Ciro, it's a pleasure to have you both here. The place looks amazing. Thank you so much for inviting us. Say something nice. Hmm, what's up? <laughs> I mean, thank you for having us, it's our pleasure. I saved the best table in the house for you. So feel free to sit and order whatever you want. There's a bottle of our best champagne waiting for you at your table. Oh, that's what I like. I hope you'll enjoy your night. I'm sure we will. We will. And we look good. This place looks expensive. I'm glad we're not paying, because I think just looking at the menu is gonna hurt my bank account. Calm down, Mr. Eat the Rich. Just enjoy it, okay? Let's make an egram story. We barely got here. And we're here to work, not just have fun. Now, be nice and act like you're having fun. Okay, let's do it. Hey guys, it's Vienna and Zero here, and tonight we're at the opening of Venus Bar. And I already gotta say, perfect date night spot. Right, C? Uh, yeah, uh, the tables are nice. Oh, the tables are nice? He's so bad at this. I mean, like, if you come with a date like me, you can be really close. And I like being very, very close to Vienna. What? Don't blush, don't blush, don't blush. That's right. It's perfect for couples to have an intimate but fun night. We'll be posting all night, so stay tuned for more on how our date goes. See you soon. Bye. So, was that good? Yeah, it'll do. Or, I think you're starting to get the hang of it. Or, keep it up and soon you'll be influencer zero. <laughs> keep it up and soon you'll be influencer zero. Careful, I just might steal your job. Oh, I'd love to see you doing makeup tutorials. But you know, I'm starting to think you enjoy finding any excuse to get close to me. Maybe I do. Damn it, the fake flirting definitely isn't helping me let go of this. A drink, that's what I need. I'm not supposed to drink much, but it's gonna be hard to get through this sober. Especially when Zero seems completely oblivious to my awkwardness around him. Maybe it's just that he doesn't feel anything like what I do. Ugh, this is frustrating. I want to make it clear that I'm not trying to tell you what to do before you yell at me. But maybe don't drink too fast and not so much tonight, okay? I'm not going to embarrass you again if that's what you're worried about. You won't have to be stuck dealing with me. I don't care about that. Dance and party all you want, but I don't want to see you get hurt. I'm worried about you, damn it. Oh, yeah, so have fun and all, but don't give me another heart attack. I can't have you ruining my reputation of not giving a damn about anything. <laughs> there it is again, that feeling in my chest. The same one I felt when he said I was important to him. And for a second, I almost lean into it and accept that there is something between us. But I can't, not with zero. I could risk our deal and my career over this. Besides, he never takes anything seriously. Why would this be an exception? I need a distraction. I promised myself I'd let this go and not embarrass myself in front of him again. I'm going to sing on the karaoke machine. <laughs> what? I like singing and I have an okay voice. It's going to be fun. Oh God. Want to do a duet? Oh, hell no. I don't sing, especially not in public. I'd rather eat glass. <laughs> You're so dramatic. Maybe so, but I'm not doing this. Even your puppy eyes have limitations. Oh, ugh, fine, I'll do it alone then. Watch me. Go Vienna, go Vienna. I never have the most angelic voice. Lies, I do, but I say I'm a good singer. And if there's one thing I'm great at, it's having fun. So what's better than singing your heart out to forget about your problems? True. And there's and Demi Lovato. Oh yes, she better sing it, go Vienna, go Vienna. She run the show, mm. I'm so happy that she's singing Demi Lovato right now. That, it makes me happy, cause me, go Vienna, go Vienna. I didn't warm up, so I'm not singing along. <laughs> but go Vienna, go Vienna. And for Demi Lovato, you gotta warm up. What's wrong with being, what's wrong with being? Okay, I did it anyway. You know, I couldn't resist. 
confident. Oh, whoa, she's actually good. Yeah, she really is. He's shook by my talent of singing Demi Lovato and drinking. Enjoying the show. Wait, he loves me. He's thinking something. Can I get two shots, please? Wait. What was he thinking in that moment? Look at you, Miss Pop Star. Oh, you liked it? Hmm. You were a little pitchy at times, and the performance could have been a little better. Don't be an ass. You were great, Foxy. I didn't know you could sing. I guess I'm all right, or me? I'm a freaking star. <laughs> I see that. For real, I really liked it. Hmm. Thank you. Ooh. Did you order more drinks while I was gone? And drank the rest of the champagne? Hey, they're free. I'm taking full advantage of the open bar. And you were saying I was gonna drink too much. I had to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Hmm. Vienna Fox? Lucas! Wait, who is this? Hey, it's been a while. Who is Lucas? Are you back for good? Yeah, I just finished moving into my new apartment. We should catch up sometime if you're up for it. I know what he's asking. It's not just about catching up. And of course I can't do anything right now when the world thinks I'm dating Zero. But later, I have to remind myself that Zero and I have an expiration date. Ooh, he won't keep me around after our time's up. At least not as anything other than a friend. And I wanna be happy after all of this. I wanna find someone. For that to happen, I have to forget about that dream and about anything romantic to do with Zero. Text me and we'll talk. Okay, it was great seeing you, Vienna. You look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Bye. Uh, Vienna! You're really determined to enjoy the open bar, huh? Yep. Maybe a bit too much. He worried about me drinking more than I should, but I've never seen him drink like this. It's free, so hell yeah. Who was that guy you were talking to? Oh, that's Lucas. He's an old friend. You two seem close. Not exactly. He had a crush on me, but before anything could happen, he moved away for work. He did kind of seem still interested though. Oh, don't worry. I wouldn't do anything until our deal is over. I wouldn't jeopardize our careers. I didn't know you were that excited to jump back into dating right away. Why shouldn't I be? Or of course I am. Why shouldn't I be? I, no reason. I was just curious. Right. Maybe I should date Lucas. He's nice and he's always been sweet to me. I wasn't sure before, but maybe easygoing is exactly what I need. What do you think? And why do I care so much about what you think? Why are you asking me? Well, you're my friend. And you seem interested in my dating life before at Jordan's party. That, I, hmm. Zero, aren't you drinking a bit too much? I'm fine. Anyway, what, what was the question? Do you think I should date Lucas? You should do whatever you want. If you want to date him, date him. I don't know why you're asking me. Ouch. But fair, he doesn't owe me anything and maybe it was a stupid question. Never mind. Ah, oh, shit. I, I didn't, I'm always saying some stupid shit, aren't I? Maybe date me, I don't know. What? Did he just say? It's hot here. D do you feel hot? I mean, you are hot, but it's really effing hot. And I, what did you just say? I said it's hot. Is there no AC in this fancy bitch? <laughs> no, what did you say before that? Cause the whole audience, we all love to know. I said, I don't remember. Of course not, because he's drunk. I should take him home before we get kicked out and end up trending on East Social. Let's go, I'm taking you back to my place. You're way too drunk for us to stay here. Are you inviting me to stay at your place, Foxy? What are you planning to do to me? You wanna hug me until you fall asleep again? <gasps> or maybe you don't wanna sleep at all tonight. Uh, oh my God, zero! My sleep schedule's all effed. So I have a lot of energy at night. That's not the brag you think it is. It's concerning. And please just shut up. Make me. I'm gonna punch you in the face. I'd rather you shut me up some other way. Zero, out, right now. Fine, jeez. You hear that, people? My girlfriend can't wait to get me home alone. Peace out, suckers. <gasps> he drunk, he big drunk. 
this better not end up on the internet. Oh, it will. He drunk. All the Epi Birds were too far from the bar and would take too long to get there. So since it's just a few blocks from my apartment, we decided to walk. Which brings us to... Being a... Are you mad at me? No, I just want to go home. Why do you want to date that guy? What? You never brought up something like that before. I didn't know you were looking forward to dating him. I, I, I don't know why exactly I started thinking about it. But the truth is, I've been single for a while, long before we started this. And I'm not the type of person that can't be alone or anything like that. I enjoy my own company. I have fun on my own. But I also want to be loved. I want someone to love me with their whole heart and I want to feel the same way. As cliche as it might be, even if you probably think it's stupid, I don't think that. I just, I had no idea you felt like that. And you're usually so happy and all. I am happy, really. It's just that my terrible luck with dating kind of hurts sometimes. It makes me wonder if it's because I don't deserve to be loved. Vienna, of course you deserve to be loved, but not just by anyone. Not by some random guy because you don't want to be alone. Not on a whim because you just want someone to love. You deserve to be loved by the right person. But how do I know who my right person is? Zero stares at me, his eyes slightly glimmering thanks to the streetlights, and he's struggling a bit to stand still. He's still drunk, obviously, but the words he just said to me, they couldn't have been more perfect. It's like he knows exactly how to make me feel better. And I wonder if he meant someone in particular as my right person. Just as he's about to open his mouth, I'm hit by the wind and I notice for the first time how cold it is. I've been so distracted by the moment we were having that I hadn't felt the sudden icy breeze. You're shaking. I didn't realize how cold it got here. I'm fine. Vienna, you're freezing. Here, take my jacket. He gave me his jacket, y'all. It's over and I look good. Thank you. And I look good. I'm taking you home, let's go. Wait, in the epi -bur, you're not driving, you turned. Oh, we walked, we walked, Never mind. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have gotten drunk like that. I'm a bit of a lightweight, that's why I usually don't drink. Kind of ruined your night, didn't I? You could have controlled yourself more, or no, you didn't. We all get a little out of control sometimes. I mean, you know firsthand that I've done that before, but why did you drink like that? It's not like you, you never get drunk. Not that much at least. I know, I just, I needed my brain to shut up. Why? Because you're beautiful and I'm an idiot. What? You're beautiful. It's annoying, you know, how beautiful you are. I know you're kind of drunk, but you're making less sense than usual. Where's this coming from? The stuff you said before about wanting someone. You're amazing, Vienna. Of course you're gonna find someone. You'll find someone great and 10 times better than me. But damn it, do you have to sound so eager to get rid of me? Cause it kind of hurts. I, I, I wasn't, I didn't mean it like that. See, you're amazing too. You know that, right? And of course, I'll still want you in my life. Oh, I'm sure whoever you date next is gonna love to have your ex hanging around. This might be all fake to you, but... But what? Right, but what? Say it so she can calm down. I, I don't know, I'm just saying nonsense. You better just say it! I'm drunk and I should go. You shouldn't have to deal with me like this. What if I want to? D, you've been there for me when I needed it. Let me do the same. That didn't sound like nonsense, Vienna. <gasps> Your zero points unlocked a special moment. Good night, Foxy. That was a special moment, y'all. We got a special moment. Thanks for taking care of this idiot tonight. He kissed me on the forehead. Zero, wait, you can't just say all that and then leave. I just, I'm sorry, I can't. I'll get a car outside and go home. Zero. What about your jacket? Keep it. It looks better on you anyway. <sighs> it's getting hot in here, y'all. It's getting hot. Wow, he looks good. Later. Bruh. Ah, oh, not going through his phone. Look at that. Our dates in LA. Shit.
But he loves me, you guys. He loves me. Uh-oh. Vienna's going through it, too. Y'all need to stop playing. Stop playing. Stay tuned for the season finale coming next chapter. <gasps> This chapter has a bonus scene where you can see what Zero was thinking while Vienna was singing at the bar and learn a bit about why he got drunk. Yes, we have to know. And make sure you like this video because we're doing it. We're doing it. And feel free to donate in the description below. Shout out to Taji Conway for donating again. You're the bomb. Everyone say thank you, Taji. Okay, here I go. The moment Vienna steps on stage, I can't take my eyes off her. Even when all we did was argue with each other, I always knew there was something about her. Something that makes her impossible to ignore. It turns her into the center of attention anywhere. No matter what Vienna does, she shines. Just look at her. Look at her, she's singing Demi Lovato. Go girl. Oh, oh, go girl. Whoa, I was not expecting that. I figured Vienna could sing kind of well, but she's actually good. She just keeps on surprising me more and more. Yep. Watching her perform, it's obvious why Vienna likes all this influencer stuff so much. She was born for this. It's where she belongs. She seems so happy and comfortable with all this attention. I'd never be able to do something like this. Just the idea of singing in front of a bunch of strangers makes me lightheaded. We've been spending so many nice moments together that it's easy to forget how different we are. But now, I'm strongly reminded of our reality. She better sing. What's wrong with being confident? Oh. Whoa, she's actually good. Yeah, she really is. She's amazing. Anyone can see that. I can almost hear her saying, of course, I'm being a fox and laughing. <laughs> she's always so confident. It's kind of cute. And her laugh. Wait, what am I doing? Thinking all that stuff about her? I shouldn't. We're friends, 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 friends. I need a damn drink. Ooh. He got shook because he started thinking about me. He likes me. Just admit it. Stop it. Damn it, Vienna. Get out of my head. I'm going to need something stronger than champagne if I'm going to survive tonight. Can I get two shots, please? Like most of my impulsive life decisions, I'm sure I'm going to regret that later. I'm a stupid effing lightweight, and shots are just about the worst thing I can choose to drink. Very true. But then again, I'm not exactly known for having good judgment, and I need a way to stop thinking about her. Because I might not care what people think, but I do know how the world works. Girls like Vienna Fox don't go for guys like me. Oh, she might flirt and joke around with me, but I doubt she'd ever be serious. Wait, little do you know. So I guess today's menu is drinking to forget. God, that sounds so effing pathetic. I must be losing my mind. Zero. You guys, we are getting closer and closer each time. Like, can one of them just say it? Zero was so close. He almost let her know about his feelings. Ugh. They got to do it next episode because next episode is the season finale. But there's more. Don't worry. And if you want more, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know that there's more tea and it's getting the hottest that it's been. Zero was confessing. He was. And also make sure to buy, stream, and download my music. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comments because, like, we need to talk about this. This was wow. And the fact that being a son Demi Lovato, so have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step.